head counsel for Prophet Shepard Bushiri, Annelene van der Irwe, has expressed disappointment at her inability to see her client in police custody when she wanted to consult with him before the case. She says it happened the night before and in the morning before heading to court. She brought this to the fore when the bail application was heard in court on Friday. I do however want to make a uh, state one thing for the record. Um, unfortunately yesterday there were issues to get access to the accused at prison. We attended there and we waited for more than an hour. Um, I even, I know the head of the prison quite well. He was even approached and we were just told that it's impossible to get access because of various COVID-19 regulations. So I just want the court to be aware of that, that we were deprived of an opportunity to consult with our clients. This morning, we had the same issue. Our time with our clients was very limited in that they arrived very late at court and there was various issues that we needed to dealt with that took preference um, uh, this morning, one of them being the application for media release. The Bushiris are facing fraud and money laundering charges which have yet to be proven by the state. Bail application will now be made on Monday the 30th of October 2020 at the Magistrate Court. Prophet Bushiri said in his affidavit that he intended to plead not guilty and should be granted bail as he had no reason to flee the country. My wife and I are living with both our children in Norway family sitting at this point in time. Whether we are with our children, uh, whenever we are with our children, we are a family unit. Our children attend school and preschool in Malawi. The fact is well known to Colonel Maritz. The children in fact arrived in South Africa on the 11th of October and they, they are still here. In fact, they were with my wife when she was arrested at our family home. Colonel Maritz together with the victim in Prussia, our attorney, our other attorney, other persons that have been assist, uh, that assist in making arrangements for the children's entry and exit into South Africa. Since our passports were handed to Colonel Maritz, our children have been to South Africa on a number of occasions. On each of these occasions, Colonel Maritz assisted with the travel arrangements. 9.3. As can be seen, my children are very young, but school to deprive them of the company of their foreign circumstances where I do not understand the charges against me. I fail to appreciate why I could be a flight risk. I have no reason to run away, I have no reason to evade the trial as I know I have not committed any offence, let alone an offence for which I, uh, I should be in prison. He told the court that he did not intend to evade trial because as a man of God, he needed to be vindicated and that he was innocent. I accept the charges against me are serious, no intention whatsoever to evade trial as I need to vindicate myself by calling it as a pastor and my own beliefs are totally inconsistent with crime and, my, and the likelihood of evading the trial. I'm a very religious person and live my life according to the strict principles of my religion. I am the pastor of the Enlightened Christian Gathering the Church with a following in South Africa of about 2.1 million members of Congress. The Congress in Pretoria alone is in excess of 100,000 active members. I have no reason to run away. I have no reason to evade the trial as I know I have not committed any offence, let alone an offence for which I, uh, I should be in prison. Advocate van der Irva said Prophet Bushiri had no previous convictions and it would be unfair to separate him from his minor children. Prophetess Mary Bushiri, his wife, in her affidavit, said she believed the state had no case against her and that she had never been actively involved in the business from which the charges come from. But I verily believe that the state has no case against me. I'm not actively involved in the business. I do not know whether the fact that I'm directing some entities caused my arrest. This would be unfortunate. I am advised the state must have evidence that I participated in the alleged offence as Section 3325 of the Criminal Procedure Act places an onus on the director to prove non involvement in the criminal conduct by an entity was found to be unconstitutional. I challenge the state to show uh, how and when I participated in the crime. Six, I deny that any offence was ever committed by me. A seven, for this specific reason, I will request information from the state as in visit, visit to section 6011B of the Criminal Procedure Act to try and understand what the allegations of the state is. In regard to the alleged poker transgressions for purposes of the bail application, I've already indicated that we'll deal with this issue once the state has presented their case and we still need said information. The state had time to, to make this decision or elect to go by, to, by way of affidavit. They had time to consider the reasons they wish to prefer to this court, and that they've done. So the state must please desist from making submissions to this honourable court that does not fall within the realm 
of what is contained in this in their affidavit. The case law in this regard, I submit your worship, is, is plain and it's strike law. Outside the courtroom, thousands of Prophet Bushiri's followers vented their frustration on the justice system of South Africa and said they would not cast their votes in the next elections if the prophets were not released on bail. Do something because we will not even vote. If you don't let Major want to go free, we will not even vote in the next election. That is for so, 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 so. No Major, no vote is still the slogan. Very much alive and it's going to be more alive. If we have to take it to the streets, we will do so. We left the jobs today. We left everything that we're doing just to be here. No major one. No vote. No major one. No vote. No papa. No party. Yes. No vote. No major one. No vote, no major one. So you, are, you are not going to vote because he's in jail. No, 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 Okay, yeah.